I see you still time, Daddy. <laughs> good was good what's the deal y'all welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back um yes uh no i don't got the co-host today uh just one of those natural days um i was actually just looking online and you know certain things that i see just you know as you know i would just automatically just start talking about but um i'm just chilling with the homies we're getting ready it's memorial weekend uh i got the bro out there you know uh, the bro was in the kitchen getting ready to fucking barbecue and everything. So <sighs> we're just getting ready. But again, I honestly did not like w- did not have the plan to record or do anything. But I said, fuck it. Mm. Certain things come to light and I say, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Number one, I got on my shirt. There's a reason why I got this sweater on, because it's about one of those times, right? When our people get pressed. And today in the news. Guess who gets pressed? Meek Mills. Yes. Your boy Meek Mills. Uh, As we know, he is no stranger to being in the public eye for, you know, numerous amount of different bullshit. How can you tell me I'm going to be locked up on trespassing? Hold on, on, on. so here's the deal. Yeah. We're a private property. Yes. At this time... With the information we have, we're refusing to do business with you. We have the right to do that. What? Right? Uh, but what well, information? Well, well, so I but no, no. But not refusing to do on. business with me. Listen, you listen, telling me I'll be arrested if no, I don't leave. No, if no, I walk no, upstairs and get something to eat, I'm gonna be arrested for what? What we just said was for being we, a rapper. We officially <laughs> for what? We officially trespassed. For what though? But what did you officially protest me for? We have the right to do that. For what? How? So, sir, sir. Yes. Who do we get? The details for because so yeah. we'll say no more. We out. Said, Let's say no more. Our, man. Let's vice post president, it. our vice president will, will send me that video. Yeah. So basically, in that video, uh, the he basically says, uh, Cosmopolitan Hotel slash Casino going to extreme racist levels to keep too many black entertainers and black people. They said they gonna they gun lock <laughs> lock me up. I'm like, for what? I've been once to a party with Jay-Z. Some of these casinos have a bunch of tactics to keep the level of blacks down, but love to take our money. This happens to a lot of black entertainers, not just me either. I felt crazy being part, uh, being put out by these white men for no apparent reason. Now, um, as we know, it doesn't matter as far as our race or whatever doesn't matter how much money you fucking have uh your color will always stand out you know am i right yeah he's back there he, he don't give a fuck <laughs> doesn't matter right you got the thumbs up um doesn't matter we do, you can have a billion dollars in your fucking bank account and still get pulled over you understand um this is not an isolated situation this will continue to happen you can be rich, poor, broke, whatever, doesn't matter. We will get pulled over. We will get pressed. It is just what society is accepting now. And as black people, we need to, you know, progress, you know, and people just come together and we just try to just make this shit a different situation, you know. But that's neither here or there. Um, please let me know in the comments. Uh, how do you feel about this situation? Um how do you feel about, you know, this hotel slash casino basically telling this man that he cannot come back into uh, or come into a residence uh, probably because of overcapacity or whatever? From what he's saying is like, you know, maybe there was too many black people there, but it just, it, you know, shit like that sucks. We shouldn't have to go through that. And especially as a celebrity like him, he should not have to go through that. Um, you know, um, me personally, um, I got caught up in a situation where I saw something and uh, I recorded it, and it went viral. The video. Oh, no, you just watched him as, 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 as
Thank you. Because a little kid, because a little kid brushed up against her and touched her on her butt. She's calling police. Things like that is very serious, you know what I mean? So it's, you know, it, when it comes down to race, it's nothing to play with, you know? Uh, it's a very touchy subject, and I think that we should definitely talk about it. We shouldn't make it a touchy subject. We should talk about it. Uh, anyway, you need to hear there. Let's just, you know, that's that's a whole bigger scale, a whole bigger problem that I ain't got but a couple minutes to talk about. Uh, next. Uh, so, I don't know, but if y'all know what I'm talking about, this nigga the baby. Fuck. This nigga the baby is cr First off, this nigga's a fucking, this nigga's like 5'5", five, five, a fucking superhero. Because somehow, anybody that, that comes across this man or even tries to fuck with this nigga get their ass whooped or fucking shot. You know what I mean? It, it's just one of those situations. So on TMZ that I, uh, TMZ, uh, Shade Room, all that, everybody's talking about it right now. Uh, he was in the Louis Vuitton store and a super fan basically ran up on this nigga and fucking, I don't know what this nigga was doing. Check out the, just look and see what I'm saying. Y'all look at the baby. That baby in here talking shit. He walking up on me, shit like he about to do something. What you don't do? What you taking shit off for? Cody. Scared away. Scared away. Scared away. You nigga so scared, boy. Ooh, I can make him go far. Come by your shit. Don't be scared. Scared away. Come by your shit. Scared away. Come by your shit. 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 Come by I'm the truth. Quit playing with me, boy. Quit playing with me, boy. Pick your pants up. What you talking about? What's wrong with it? It, it? It's one of those situations where it's like, yo, what the fuck? Who's right and who's wrong? Number one, when you're a fan, you're a star, whatever, or whatever, you're in that, that light. Aren't you allowed? It's like that offset situation, right? Um, it, it It's like, you know, when does a fan say stop? You know, when, when did they realize it, it's not cool to do what they doing? You know what I mean? So, to me, it was like one of those situations where this nigga's like, he's wildin'. This nigga. I was in the store first buying a fucking belt with my independent money. They approached me on both sides. Yeah, keep buying your shit, nigga. Keep buying your shit. I bagged up. I mean, nigga, the media goddamn a monster right now. I bagged up. This bitch ass come out, keep buying your shit. I'm like, what y'all gonna do? Y'all could have just hopped on me straight away. I was on some funny shit. So I pulled the camera out. You wanna be funny, nigga? Let's let's record you, comedian. Basically was pressing him. And what the baby had to do was do what he had to do. You know what I'm saying? Stop walking it up. Stop walking up to your freaking celebrity, fan, people, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. Stop walking up to them and then fucking putting the camera in their faces and wilding out. Because they have the right to do whatever the fuck they want to do because that's that's their business. That's what they, you know, you're, you're invading people's space. Uh, so apparently this guy goes back to the fucking store and. Listen, I'm sure security not going to get fired for this or nothing like this. Security, another black man. How many people jumped on me in here in Louis Vuitton? How many people jumped Two. on me? A big one and a small mm -hmm. one, right? Yeah. We in Louis. Why, why security got the lie? Everybody think on one-on-one. -on -one. Two people jumping on Cohart, and I'm still in here to pick up my Louis V belt. Hey, y'all got my Louis V belt for me, right? Yeah. Oh, appreciate y'all. Come on, I'm still going out tonight, man. What y'all talking about, man? I'm good. Two people, and it's good, and I still like this. This pretty. Listen, dude, he's a clown. It, yo, clout is at its finest. It. It, it peaked at fucking 6 9 and niggas is continuously gonna do it. Uh, this is clout chasing at its finest. It fucking sucks. Uh, the baby, I'm glad you ain't shoot this nigga like the last dude that walked up on your ass. We appreciate that. Society does, because, ah, uh, fucking, something need to happen to this nigga, because this nigga's wilding, because he's bugging out. 
Some stop invading people fucking space, man. Like, give me mine. You know what I mean? Unless we in a fucking cubicle like this, that's the only way you can invade my space. That's it. Anybody else, I'm like, yo, you got to give me the elbows. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's it. Um, that's all I want to talk about. There's a few other things I want to talk about, but I'm like, nah, why should I talk about it? Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to do that. Uh, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Mm-hmm. Remember, Thumbs up. And then always remember to subscribe. God damn it. Subscribe. We got to do a subscribe. It's that easy. Right? Uh, hey, I'm out of here. As I said, it was a very quick, short video. Uh, look out for the video that I'm putting out after this. It's supposed to be out today. I'm sorry. It's for Red Gal and me. Of course, we always do this shit. We make it funny, right? Yo, uh, this is a, this is more of a serious topic. We out of here. Yo. Get the fuck out of here. All that drinking. This is an unexpected video. I'm chilling. Mm. We out of here, bro? No? Yeah. Right, let me, can, I, can I kick them the fuck out of here? Should I do the normal? As normal. As normal. Get the fuck out of here, you cocks. No. I, I, wrong. I'm sorry. I said cock already, right? Oh, shit. Should I bleep that out? No, I'm gonna leave this whole goddamn thing. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not gonna fucking apologize for fucking cursing you, son of a bitch. Get the fuck out of here.